so this is a random as fuck clip in that no student has specifically asked me this question, but I feel it's important to address this point because in my observations over nine plus years of tutoring, all the students I've worked with, okay, there are certain things I come to recognize slash observe, okay? And one very important mistake that seems to be highly pervasive throughout uh, students studying is this notion that doing UWorld twice slash doing UWorld up until your exam is most beneficial and it is actually deleterious to your maximal score augmentation. Now, right away, there will be students who dislike what I'm saying. There will be students who get emotional over what I'm saying. Because when we discuss the aspects of how to study UWorld and how close to your exam you should be doing UWorld and how many times you should be going over UWorld, people tend to get very bogged down and dogmatic and even intransigent with regard to their study methods, heavily invested, okay? You're putting a lot of mental energy into your prep for the USMLE. It's understandable that you want to continue with UWorld since so many people are doing it. But as I've talked about in plenty of my other videos, you need to be aware that when you go into the USMLE, okay, for step one, it is going to be a hypothetical NBME 3132. When you go in for step two, it is going to be a hypothetical NBME 12 and 13. The questions are exactly the same. One pass of UWorld is sufficient, okay? UWorld has already become superfluous up at 3,800 questions. Too many fucking questions, okay? That's a discussion in and of itself. When I sat the step one back in 2012, it was a very concise, potent QBank of 2150 questions. Now, where students get into trouble is that they will do UWorld a second pass at the expense of the NBME content. There's nothing wrong with you doing a second pass of UWorld insofar as you adequately review all of the NBME material. I've talked about assiduously memorizing forms 20 through 30 for step one and screenshotting your incorrects into a Word document saving as a PDF or PowerPoint reviewing up until your exam. And for step two, all the clinical mastery series forms as well as NBME form six through 11. You need to be memorizing that NBME content because the real deal is the same as the NBMEs, okay? The real US simile is not UWorld. Now, you can review UWorld as a baseline in the evenings, let's say, up into your exam. There's no problem with that. It just can't be at the expense of the NBME content. And what you get a lot of students doing is a second pass of UWorld, and they'll say, well, I don't want to look at the, like, the NBME material. I don't have time to do like you know NBMEs, let's say 20 through 24, reviewing those because I've still got X subjects <clears throat> to cover during my second pass of UWorld. Bad fucking decision, okay? Life is a Venn diagram. So when, when we're prepping for this exam, everything is going to be helpful. You could be reviewing Anki, you could be reviewing Sketchy, you could be reviewing USMLERX slash AMBOSS slash UWorld. Everything is going to be helpful in a different way. But when we talk about maximizing your score in the least amount of time possible, it is reviewing the NBME material straight into your exam. Okay? People will have disagreements. That's okay. Okay? But we are discussing these things as a community because it is important you are aware, you take home the message that the real USMLE is going to be the NBME exams. It's not fucking UWorld. So if you're going to be doing UWorld second pass, or you're going to be reviewing UWorld up into your exam, that's okay. You have permission to do that, okay? You're in control of your own prep. Just do not allow it to be at the expense of the NBME material, okay? You really need to assiduously review the NBME content before you go into the USMLE. I'm obviously going to make more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.